Pompeii was an ancient Roman town city located near modern Naples in Italy. In 79 AD, the city was greatly devastated by a volcanic eruption of Mount Vesuvius, which destroyed it and buried it under nearly 13 to 20 feet of ash and lava. I think it's Netflix that runs a series of documentaries on this. The eruption killed the city's inhabitants and buried it under tons of ash. Plaster was used during the excavation to fill the voids in the ash layers, revealing the exact position of the victims. Several years later, while construction workers were laying the foundation for a building outside the city of Pompeii, and they made a very strange discovery. They found a body of a woman who was likely trying to escape from the volcanic eruption, but got caught in the shower of hot ashes. And surprisingly, the woman's hands were clutching jewels that were perfectly preserved. The jewels belonged to her, but her death had made them useless to her. Perhaps that's a bottom line of life. Treasures of this world are not wise investments. They cannot be taken with us at the end of life and cannot be enjoyed but for a few years on earth. These are the sentiments and teachings that the Lord transmits in today's gospel. Aren't we all like that with our, poss our possessions? We grasp tightly to whatever form our jewels or riches might take and will not let, it, let go of it even if our lives are at stake. And Jesus told that this to his disciples, this possessiveness would keep many from entering the kingdom of God. I say to you, he, Jesus says, the Gospel of Matthew, it is easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than for one man who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. I remember reading in some biblical commentaries that next to the main gate into Jerusalem in ancient times was a small, a very tiny door used to let travelers who arrived at night after the main gate was closed to let the travelers in after the main gate was closed. And this door, this tiny little door was called Needle's Eye. If the traveler happened to have a camel with him, there was a problem. <laughs> the, person could, the person could fit easily through the door, but getting the camel through was challenging. We can imagine the traveler standing behind the camel, pushing and showing, <laughs> trying to skew it through the needle's eye. And Jesus gives us the image of a rich man trying to get through the small door that leads, to, leads into the kingdom of God. He will fit through the narrow door if he is content to leave his possessions behind. He won't make it if he insists on hanging on to his camel or his possessions. Jesus is our better offer. There are times, there comes a time in our life when we outgrow our toys and other possessions and yearn for something better. Something deep inside reminds us that only union with God will satisfy us. The Lord's invitation for us today is to release our grip on earthly treasures and embrace the lasting joy found in God's kingdom. Amen.